Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. So today we have Dentogenic Concept or SPA factors in tooth selection uh, in prosthodontics. So how do we select the teeth for dentofabrication? It is based on mainly based on the Dentogenic Concept that is sex, personality and age factors. So let's learn in detail about the dentogenic concept or SPA factors. So dentogenic concept was introduced by John P. Fresh. John P. Fresh and Ronald D. Fisher. So these two people put forward this concept of dentogenic based on sex, age and personality. So which determine the form of tooth. So we know the quality uh, of masculinity or femininity, uh, personality and various uh, physiological ages will be revealed in the smile of the patient so we'll start with the first character that is sex of the patient so we have two features one is masculine features and the feminine features so for Masculine features we need to keep teeth with which are prominent teeth which should be large sized then square arch form then uh, square labial surface then a darker shade it will be the very flat smiling line then the incisal corners will be square then again the canine uh, cervical line the cervical line of canine is more visible and prominent okay so cervical line is more visible so these are the masculine features of a person with respect to the teeth selection whereas the feminine features it will be smaller teeth and this will be uh, curved contours and arches and uh, there will be uh, curved labial surfaces round incisal edges and corners there will be curved smiling line there will be curved smiling line and it has a delicate appearance then uh, it is usually uh, smaller teeth that I already mentioned and regarding the canines so only the mesial third be seen only the mesial third okay whereas the masculine features is cervical line is more visible and prominent so these are the features of masculinity and feminine uh, characteristics regarding the sex. Now let's move on to the personality features. So in personality, uh, dentists should select teeth according to the uh, vigorous people personality and the delicate people. So we can have two personality. One is vigorous and the next one is delicate so we need to identify the person uh, he or she belongs to which category so if the person is a vigorous uh, characteristics persons with uh, such personality should have more square teeth than larger teeth and also darker shade 
with uh, sharp line angles and point angles this is for the vigorous personality whereas the delicate people we need to give uh, the anterior tooth in a flat plane then the smaller tooth we can take and also the lighter shade and more symmetrically arranged teeth symmetric arrangement should not provide any sharp line angles or point angles so that is regarding the personality next we have the age so age factor we can have two groups one is the younger people and older people so younger people we need to keep lighter shades also more incisal translucency translucency should be more and minimal wear because they are younger people the attrition is not much pronounced in this group of people minimal wear and curved smile line okay curved smile line then pointed canines pointed canines whereas in older people we can give just opposite darker shade uh, darker shades then less incisal translucency then uh, more wearing of incisal edges then flat smiling line and uh, we should not keep any uh, pointed canines we can make it a uh, little flat or curved canines for the older people so along with uh, this dentogenic concept we need to learn one more interpretation of dentogenic concept that is dynastetic interpretation of dentogenic concept so this dynastetic and dentogenic concept together gives the ultimate aesthetics okay so dentogenic is based on sex personality and age but as dynastetic theory it is says that the secondary uh, factors of dentogenic concept so it is a compound word this dyn means uh, uh, dynamics in greek so it is nothing but the secondary factors of dentogenic concept okay so it basically concerns with three important divisions of the denture fabrication one is the tooth tooth its position and its matrix so this uh, dynastetic techniques uh, involves uh, shade selection one is shade selection then the depth grinding then the abrasion factors then comes the uh, embrasures and diastemas embrasures and diastema then uh, we have the buccal corridor buccal corridor then uh, the gum line denture base uh, contouring and the tissue stippling so all these comes under as a secondary uh, factors of this dentogenic concept so all these are shade duct grinding abrasion factors embrasures diastema buccal corridor all this comes as a dynastetic factors that is uh, nothing but the secondary factors of dentogenic concept or spa concept so this is basically uh, what uh, all the prosthodontist uh, 
follows to set the teeth especially the anterior teeth because it is mainly uh, emphasizing on the aesthetics okay so hope you understood the small concept of dendrogenic spa factors and anesthetics okay so this might be asked as a short note so i'll come up with a new topic in prosthodontics thank you